Hi, I wanted to, to share something uh, for the laptop users. You all know that there is this uh, particular TLP on Arch Linux. TLP is um, for laptops, the use of the battery, the power management, advanced power management for Linux, without need to understand every technical detail. So what you need to do is to enable it, to install it and to enable it. So a pseudo pacman minus s TLP will do that. But I want to share you something, uh, something else with you guys. Uh, password, okay, done was already installed because I did this. I typed in a user interface of TLP. So there is something on the AUR, that's not from Arcanlex, it's Arch User Repository. And maybe, maybe you can have a look at it and give it a go. I'm not a laptop person myself. And I just noticed that TLP was not installed on my machine. So um, I'm not really, um, well, looking into those things. But you see already here that there are some things about ThinkPads and all that. So have a look, uh, first of all, on the wiki. Second of all, why not uh, try to install this package, which is called, um, oh yeah. So you see here's some code here. On the wiki it says um, to enable and to start TLP server. So this is my third trial to make the video. <laughs> which means I what had already typed in sudo system ctl enable it. So like you see, I did not, uh, I had not enabled it, right? Did not, I do not use it on my laptop without any problems, but hey, it's, it's hard to depend. So enabling, that's one thing, that's this word, and starting, that's this word, right? So sudo system ctl start. So now it's started, but Prior to everything else, I said also to the system yay and then um, TLP user interface. And then I said number one, just install me, that guy. So I'm just going through the motions again, it's already installed. And we don't have to wait for it since it's already there. And TLP user interface is another way to look at things. And this is for me just Chinese, but uh, maybe it's something you need on your hardware. All right, so have a look. Uh, enabling or um, disabling that's the most important and simplest thing ever. But we've done just that with system CTL enable. But all the rest is read up, read up, read up, and see what it is you require, what you need, what issue you have with your particular hardware. So this is really. Um, not my cup of tea, right? Which means it's Google. Find out what particular thing you need to set for your particular motherboard, hardware, and so on. But this gives a nice overview, don't you say? So that's why I want to share it with you. There's even something specific for the ThinkPad computers here. And I have to, I've seen a lot of articles about ThinkPad and Linux. So it may be a good thing that you see this video. We have a save button and a reload and there is even something called statistics. You can have a simple statistic thing. So indeed, medium bias is there, clinics is there, the kernel is there, boot images are here, some temperatures and so on and so on and so on. Right? Or the complete guy. So that's it for me. Um, May it help people may uh, help learn about your hardware as well and solve some issues that you might have. All right, have fun.